Last year, Anna Persichilli, the uh, art teacher, decided to do the Artist of the Month. In one of the conversations, the students asked, who's your favorite painter? And she said, Chuck Close. Nobody knew about him. So she decided to give a month, a full month, to Chuck Close. The students fell in love with the fact that even though he has a disability, he went beyond that dis disability and lived his dream. From that moment, they all decided to have a dream. And the dream that we're realizing this year is to bring them to New York. And maybe, if we get to, to meet him. It's the, the, the study of the arts. I wanted to go to see all the museum where Chuck Colts is, especially Chuck Colts. You like Chuck Colts? Yes. Why? Because he doesn't make his disability put him down. That's inspiring yeah, you? Because uh, all my life people have put me down, my disabilities. There's special needs students, okay, what we call SIS programs, but there's special needs students. There's a lot of students that have that, what we call etiquette, that label. And very often parents or people around them, they say well, they're not capable because they're special needs. We put, or people around them put barriers, not knowing that they could go further. We're talking about um, dreams, and what we asked ourselves, what, you know, what's a dream that came true for you? And she said, no dream ever came true for me. My dream is to see the artist. I've never been to New York, and I'm excited. So you've come to, to learn about the art of Chuck Close. Yeah. And, and tell yeah. me about that. Well, how is it important to you? He uh, inspires me because he's uh, on a wheelchair, and he, he can do all the stuff. If he can do it, I can do it. The style, as you can see in the back, the style is the same way that Chuck Close does it. That means he takes a picture, he cuts a little uh, squares yeah. and then we reproduces to, it big. You have to paint the pieces. It's, it's come with square. Yeah. We had to paint. The beauty about this project is they didn't know what the picture was going to be. They all had to do their little square. The beauty was at the end when they realized that all together they did such an amazing painting. Besides the part of visiting New York, it will, it will give them a sense of pride a sense of success, they can say after this, we did it, and they did it, because they bake and we sell whatever they bake. They prepare, they do everything we ask. I gave a stand-up comedy show in December, and during the, uh, the intermission, we were selling coffee. They were there at every show to sell coffee. It was amazing. It wasn't Christmas, oh, we're on vacation, oh, we can't do it, we can't make it. They were there because they believe in the cause. I'm gonna, I'm gonna visit Central Park and the museum, all the museums, and I'm gonna have fun and eat food. Oh. <laughs>